you're right, with so much noise going on, now what it is about is about invention. So what that means is you're constantly reinventing yourself. And the key is to always reinvent yourself to the pulse of whatever the new generation is. We've seen it with Michael Jackson, with Madonna, with Whitney, with different artists. And I think the same rule applies to, um, to innovative technology. Now, Greg, what, what would you say in your time in the music business has been the most surprising change? You know, what's really interesting, especially here, being a Cannes Lion, you know, Festival of Creativity, six or seven years ago, there weren't any music companies here. You know, um, people would come, an artist might come if they had a side project. Now you see someone like Wyclef, not only here, but a juror. Mm -hmm. he, he's performing, he's speaking on stage. Um, and that's part of the reason that we partnered with someone like Wyclef. We get, you know, a billion data points a day at Shazam. And, you know, we looked at that and said, okay, we're looking for an artist that transcends, you know, our median age is 31. So we're looking for someone that um, can resonate with the agency heads and the young creatives that are here. And really, the machine spit out one artist that, you know, it's multi-language, global, and that, that was Wycliffe. So, you know, for us, music used to shun advertising. It used to be a stigma. If you think back to when, uh, you know, Led Zeppelin sold a song to Cadillac for the Super Bowl commercial. It was Utre, yeah. Yeah, and, and everybody freaked out and said they're selling out. Now that's just not the case because brands are the ones that help support the artists. It's really difficult out there. Our company used to just completely survive on downloads. And that business has changed so much in five years that now there's streamers. It's really difficult for an artist to, to find a way to make a living. And if you're really going to succeed, you have to embrace creativity and brands. So Shazam and, and you, Wyclef, you teamed up on um, an interesting project, this augmented reality experience for Juve. Yeah. What, what was that? Why did you do it? Juve was Wyclef coming back in the music space with what would be an EP mm -hmm. to lead into an album. Now, why this is important is this EP with the data that don't lie, right, mm. would test the analytics. Okay, is Clef still irrelevant in this space, mm -hmm. right? You know, it's been seven years, he tried to become president of Haiti, we see them all over the place. Is he, can a rapper come back in this space and make it happen? So the data is tested with Juve. Juve, a song called Hendrix, streams 30 million. Mm. It's only been out a couple of months. So now we say, whoa, what kind of noise can we make? How can we get to, 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 to our consumers? This augmented reality app, we shot this, but why Clef was just why Clef within his personality. So when people like they, 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 they go into this, it's almost like me and you having this conversation. And I feel that that's where the future is going. The, the, the artist has to be able to communicate in a sense with the consumer so the consumer feels their natural emotion. And that's very hard to do with an app to make people feel Yo, I want to laugh. This is funny. This is natural. I want to cry. And so for me, what what this is, is I always like to be on the cutting edge of what I feel the future is. So for me, this is not going to only apply to music. I mean, it's going to apply to everything. One last question. Wyclef, if you were speaking to your 19-year-old self in North Jersey now, today, what advice would you give yourself? I would definitely tell him, as much as you're going to geek out on the music, geek out like that on the tech. It's not going to mess up your creativity. Because mm. at, at one time I thought, damn, you know what I mean? If I geek out a little more, right. am I going to become so scientific that I'm not going to be able to write songs no more? You have that fear. But now we're in a generation where it all works together and I'm geeking out and I'm doing music. So I would encourage that clef that's watching mm. to definitely do that while he's 19 and 20. So by the time he's like 40, he's probably gonna be like the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> <laughs>